Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining all of us here today, friends, in mindful expression for our daily reading, for positive mindset, from our day book of comfort and joy by Sarah Bon Brethnock, Simple Abundance. Here is our affirmational reading for positive mindset. December 14, 2020. All happy families resemble one another, but each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Leo Tolstoy. Most people assume that Christmas is hardest for the children who stop believing in Santa Claus, but I think the holidays are the most difficult for those who have experienced a recent loss. Through death or divorce, particularly if this is the first or second holiday after their world has been torn asunder. Many single mothers often feel uncomfortable at Christmas and unconsciously convey the discomfort to their children. One way this is done is by putting off holiday preparations until the very last moment, then throwing everything together in a half-hearted frenzy. Perhaps one of the reasons single women and single mothers experience difficulty during Christmas time is because deep in their hearts, they think... Holiday traditions belong only to the perfect Mormon Rockwell families. First time a woman, newly on her own, opens an ornament box alone, if she's even bothers to pull it out, she experiences such a sense of loss, she may decide not to continue the holiday rituals she once treasured because the comparison of Christmas's past with Christmas present is too painful. What's the point, she says. The point is, is that we all need the reassuring and healing message that treasures, the treasured rituals provide. One of the most important aspects about family traditions, rituals that families continue to do, do year after year, is that traditions have symbols and families need symbols. Dr. Stephen J. Woolen, a clinical professor of psychiatry at the George Washington University Medical School, explains, you bring out the old glass, you sing the old songs, and you say the same prayer. You wear a certain outfit. You set the table in a certain way. These are the unconscious moments of family ritual that become emotional security blankets to be tugged on in times of stress. Cherished customs are just as important for grown women as they are for children. When I first began updating Victorian traditions for modern families, I thought the reason I delighted in doing them was so that I could create happy memories for my daughter. But after a few years, I realized that our rituals brought me comfort and joy. I longed for the reassuring rhythm of marking the seasons just as much as Katie did. We need to trim the tree, light the menorah, make the valentines, dye the Easter eggs, attend the Passover cedar, just as much as our children do. Our souls can never outgrow the yearning for luminous and liminal moments of wholeness. So unpack those beloved holiday traditions Create new ones that express your authenticity, just as you create a new lifestyle. Traditions are the guideposts driven deep into our subconscious minds. Ellen Goodman tells us, the most powerful ones are those we can't even describe, aren't even aware of. And there you have our December 14, 2020 affirmational reading for Positive Mindset from Sarah Bond Breath's Knox book. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you... Put the same effort in everything you do all year long. You deserve it. The rewards will speak for itself. This is Lady Kathleen Marie in Mindful Expression. Take care of you. Take care of me. And I'll see you tomorrow, friend. God bless.